What's going on everybody? It's Bulls Nation Station back at it again with another one. Hope you guys are feeling pretty good today as I'm feeling pretty good myself. But yeah, I want to talk about a subject today. You know, we pretty much got our roster set for the upcoming season. So now we got to start looking into the upcoming training camp and seeing in different battles and seeing, you know, who's going to be our projected starters, our projected people coming off the bench and just the people in the rotation so i wanted to start off with the first training camp battle as far as position and that will be the power forward position and that one is going to be interesting so i'm gonna dive into that but before i do i want you guys to subscribe to my page as i'll be talking about bulls content all summer definitely like this video you know each like helps out my algorithm and that'll be pretty you know cool to see all the lights go up but yeah i'm gonna talk about it so we have a few power forwards on our team and it's interesting how the power forward rotation shaked out last season you know last season is you know in training camp it started off as a three-way battle it started off as a battle between patrick williams Derrick jones jr and javante green and so two of those guys are not on the team now but the way the battle shook out is that it was actually javante green who performed the best as far as you know playing the power four position being a starter he was one of the best players in training camp he showed out the most he honestly deserved that starting spot but when the season began they eventually gave it to patrick williams and he started off a little bit slow but he came around as the season went on and you know his three point percentage was pretty good it wasn't a super high number of attempts but Patrick Williams, he improved. His defense was very well against the people he was guarding. But the overall team success wasn't really hitting yet. And it honestly didn't really show off and improve until the coach decided to put Alex Caruso in at the power forward position. And so Patrick Beverly came and Alex Caruso was moved into the starting spot also. And those two did wonders for the energy and defense of the team you know they stopped a lot of teams the iq was a lot better the ball moved a lot better alice caruso he played pretty well but we all know that is not alice caruso's natural position and so moving on to this season what are the bulls going to do are the bulls going to put alice caruso back in that position or do you feel comfortable with the likes of Patrick Williams, you know, improving and being able to start, or our newcomer Tory Craig. That's going to be a training camp battle to see. And so, Patrick Williams versus Tory Craig, you know, I feel like the advantages Patrick Williams has is that he's younger, you know, he's an excellent defender, he can spread the floor and shoot, and, you know, he still has so much untapped potential that the Bulls are trying to unlock. And they're trying to give Patrick Williams every opportunity he can to unlock that potential. You heard Mark Eversley speak on it. You heard a lot of other players speak on it. You know, it's just a matter of time before Patrick Williams can understand and find that niche to where he unlocks, you know, that potential. And I feel like having Tory Craig there, who is a dog, is not willing to back down from anybody, can help push Patrick Williams. But can Tory Craig push Patrick Williams to the point to where maybe... He's the starting power forward. You know, it's interesting to see the advantages that Tory Craig has is that he's battle tested. He's been through tremendous, you know, amounts of hard playoff battles. He didn't guard at the best, went against the best, stood toe to toe with the best, and never backed down from anybody. And he's always been the one to hold his own. And now his offense is coming around to where he's a pretty good three point shooter. So, which one would you rather have on the training camp? what do i think will happen i feel like it's going to be an interesting training camp to see it's not really about who goes at each other the hardest but about who fits the starters well and honestly i mean depending on how much patch wins improve right now it seems like tory craig is a better fit for the starters just because of the defensive intensity and him not having to be a high volume you know ball usage player feel like patch wins will get more opportunities coming off the bench but at the same time you know patch wins is the future of the team and so he has to be in that mix he has to figure out a way to fit in and still provide you know of his own so it's interesting to see i do feel like when the beginning of the preseason or the beginning of the regular season start 
Patrick Williams will be the first starter. And it's about, you know, how well he plays and how well the team is doing as to if they will replace him for Troy Craig as a starter. And so comment down below. Let me know how do you guys feel about that. It's also another round of, you know, back as, like I said, Kobe, uh, not Kobe White, Alex Caruso. He can always come back in as he's going to be competing for all the different spots. But yeah, comment down below. Let me know how do you guys feel about the power forward position and training camp that battle. And I'm going to holler at you guys later. And I'm out.